This week marks 35 years since the Chernobyl nuclear accident. The accident was the most severe in the history of nuclear power and remains a challenge for the region. 35 years after the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the IAEA is still here working side by side with our Ukrainian counterparts. As you can see behind me, the new safe containment, a great feat of modern engineering has been completed and the entering spent fuel storage facility is also uh, coming in line. So here on the site, the IAEA together with international partners like the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development is going to continue providing this uh, indispensable support. The accident was also a turning point in history. It marked the beginning of open international cooperation in the nuclear area. In 1986 and in the years since, world governments came together at the International Atomic Energy Agency headquarters in Vienna, crossing political divides to learn from the accident, to plan for its containment and to stop it from happening again. Over the last three and a half decades, agency scientists and staff have repeatedly visited the region to assess the environmental situation while advising on remediation and providing training in radiological monitoring to local experts. Aside from the international cleanup effort, the accident also led to improved global cooperation in nuclear safety. This is even more important today as nuclear energy gains prominence as part of the low carbon energy mix in the fight against climate change. We're also working in terms of the future here in the Ukraine with the integration of more nuclear power plants and units into an already pretty decarbonized economy. The Ukraine has reached a record of 67% electricity from nuclear source, which is extremely encouraging, where we are together tackling the big challenge of climate change and global warming.